In this video, we're going to talk about why Halo fans should pay close attention to Call of Duty Vanguard and how it's all tied to Halo Infinite's release date. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So there is one looming game giant that's still happening this fall and that is the release of the yearly Call of Duty game. And why the recent announcement of Call of Duty Vanguard lines up with a series of different leaks that were just released to the public and it also talks to the release date of Call of Duty which could affect the release date of Halo Infinite. So I wanted to break that all down for you guys in this video. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. It's a greatly helped out the video and channel get favored within the algorithm of YouTube. As well guys, if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Vite Ramen. Vite Ramen is a small US-based company that provides a far more tasty, fulfilling, and more importantly, healthier option than your typical ramen brands. In less than three minutes, one packet of Vite Ramen gives you more food than the leading ramen brands, 25% of your daily micronutrients, up to 30 grams of protein, seven grams of dietary fiber, and most importantly to me, 50% less sodium to help you live a healthier lifestyle. Where the leading brand is really just salt and carbs. Vite Ramen also has vegan plant-based versions as well. My favorite is the Sichuan chili, as it actually packs a punch of heat along with a filling bowl of ramen. I mean, look at me, isn't that the face satisfaction right there and why give your money to the corporate overlords we can help out a small business so check out the link in the pinned comment and also in the description of this video to give Vite Ramen a look over and thank you very much Vite Ramen for sponsoring this video so the recent news within gaming here is that Call of Duty has officially announced the actual name of the game and it's happening on August 19th at 10 30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time within Warzone and the game is called Call of Duty Vanguard right here, which has pretty much been like the leaked name and rumored name for the game for the whole year, and it finally has been confirmed. Now obviously we're a Halo-based channel, so why does Call of Duty have anything to do with Halo right now? Well actually, it has a lot to do with the release date of Halo Infinite. As Call of Duty is always one of the biggest games to release of the year, and obviously Halo does not, does not want to be overshadowed by Call of Duty. But the reason why this news in particular is news to Halo fans because it lines up with leaks that we've heard about Call of Duty Vanguard, which some of the leaks have also talked about the release date of Call of Duty Vanguard and why it actually plays in favor for Halo. Now back on August 15th, Tom Henderson, who is a known insider, very popular within Call of Duty and Battlefield, also getting a little bit involved with Halo Infinite leaks, tweeted this out on the 15th saying that the Vanguard reveal is on August 19th, which has now officially been confirmed by Call of Duty. But just a few days earlier, Tom Henderson was dropping crazy amount of leaks about the new Call of Duty game. Sending out a series of cryptic like tweets with number 24 and Kermit the Frog looking at a map, essentially saying there's gonna be 24 total maps within the new Call of Duty game. And this tweet saying that dynamic weather in a game is awesome, meaning that most likely the new Call of Duty game will also have dynamic weather similar to in the way of Battlefield 2042 has now. And on that same day, August 11th, tweets out the picture of Treyarch's logo with a link to YouTube YouTube song Zombie by Bad Wolves, implying that zombie mode is coming back within this Call of Duty and it's gonna be developed by Treyarch. And most importantly, and most important information for you Halo fans is that he tweets out the date of November 5th on that same day of August 11th, which meaning implying heavily, I mean heavily implying that the new Call of Duty game will be releasing on November 5th of 2021. So how does this Call of Duty news all tie in back with Halo? What we do know is that there is no release date for Halo Infinite, and that's because Phil Spencer and Microsoft are waiting for the right time to release Halo Infinite. They don't want to be, have it be overshadowed by the new Battlefield getting released on the 22nd of October and the now rumored date of November 5th showcasing for the new Call of Duty game. But now that information is kind of out and about within the business, let's just know that we might see a release date for Halo Infinite coming very soon. And Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, did state that they have the date for Halo Infinite down to just a few weeks. It's not like months or anything like that, said it within this podcast. No release date in that trailer. It's still coming out this year. Can you shed any light on that? Like, what is the, uh, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you heard Joseph say in the talk track this holiday, we know kind of our range in the three, four week range. We don't have yet the exact day. There's some other things with some other game timing that we're trying to look at. 
Um, we'll have better clarity over the summer, but this isn't okay. a month's thing. This is just down to a, a few weeks. Um, and so we're like, okay, instead of picking this date and having to move it by a week, which at this point would feel like a fail, like we don't want to do that. Let's wait until we're really solid on what the date is. But the team's very committed to holiday. Um, we feel good about that. The way that Pierre and Joseph are, are running the team, I, I feel good about you know the confidence we have in both quality and getting the game done. So when it comes to game timing, I definitely don't mean just within Microsoft's sphere of gaming. I think just gaming as a whole is what they're talking about and keeping an eye when Call of Duty is going to release. So then Halo Infinite has its time to shine. Because we've seen what happens when prominent games all release within like a close amount of time, one of them falls short. We had this example back in 2016 with Titanfall 2. Because Titanfall 2 had a really rough release schedule and I think it kind of led to the downfall, which many people do agree, led to the downfall of the Titanfall series because on October 21st of 2016, Battlefield 1 releases. Then just a few days later, you had Titanfall 2 released. And then just a couple days after that, on November 4th, you had the new Call of Duty game. And many people attribute that sandwiching of the release window for Titanfall 2, which between those two games was the smaller game. And to have that one be released between two mammoths, which we're kind of seeing the same situation happen again in 2021, Obviously, Phil Spencer and Microsoft want to avoid that to give Halo its proper time to shine. And so this leads me to my last point that the recent rumors have been going around about Gamescom being a very prominent thing for possibly getting a release date for Halo Infinite. Uh, we do know that there is going to be a live stream event during Gamescom on August 24th. This is going to be a couple days after the Warzone reveal. I'm sure the insiders and the industry people within Microsoft probably know exactly when this Call of Duty game is going to be released, at least down to the week or something like that. So we do know there's going to be some more information about upcoming titles. Saying right here, saying you'll get in-depth updates from some of our previously announced Xbox Game Studio titles alongside some of our third-party partners, including some of the incredible titles coming to Xbox this holiday, upcoming releases to our monthly subscription service, Xbox Game Pass, and much more. So what game is the most anticipated game from Xbox? And we're going to get some additional information and some updates about games releasing this holiday? I mean, a Halo Infinite release date would certainly bring a lot of buzz for Gamescom. And I've been holding true to the November 15th release date for Halo Infinite as it does mark the 20th anniversary of Xbox and Halo. I think it'd be a very momentous occasion. Of course, we also could see that push to the Tuesday of November 16th as those Tuesday evenings are much more typical release time windows for video games. Or maybe even that Friday on November 20th. I think what you want to do is just give enough breathing room for after the new Call of Duty game releases to give Halo Infinite its time to shine within gaming media, streaming, content creation, and everything else like that. And of course we have November 26th, which is gonna be Black Friday, which would be the highest selling day of any kind of products out there within the US. So I'd like to see the game release before that week, just to kind of help get into those Black Friday sales and also release after Call of Duty and Battlefield to give it its time to shine. So things are looking pretty good for a 20th anniversary release date, in my opinion, for Halo Infinite. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, I got a playlist right here for all my Halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.